This is the life I prefer. Here it's another atmosphere. Far from the noise, far from the pollution. We're free to live the life we want. I love my life and I would like it to be the same for her. After three hours on horseback following a gaucho through fields and thickets, we finally reach his small farm hidden in the middle of the countryside. With some neighbors who've come to help him, he starts what they call a pielada here. Catching an animal is not something difficult for these men well used to handling a lasso. On the contrary, what makes the exercise difficult and the point of a pielada is to mix catching the animal with a game of skill. It isn't so much a question of catching the animal by any means, but rather to catch it only by its front legs. Being a gaucho is not only about wearing a hat or a poncho. Being a gaucho is a feeling that comes from the inside. It means being united, kind, simple, humble. And despite the difficulties you may have, the gaucho has always been a person who may be poor but with a huge heart. I feel gaucho because I've always lived like this. I come from a very humble family, and everything we possess comes from our work in the fields. No salary, no monthly pay. We are independent. Sometimes we have a good month, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we have money, sometimes we don't. But we survive. I'm telling you this because before I worked as a gaucho on a big estancia, I did not manage my time, but the big advantage was that each month I could depend on a fixed salary. When you work on an estancia, you work for an owner, against a salary. A gaucho always gets up before the sun does, and his day usually starts by going through the early morning fog. In the big estates, the change of scale is radical. No way do they work alone. There are hundreds of hectares to go over and thousands of animals to manage each day. In any case, the gaucho's task does not change too much. 
he must watch over, administer, and tend to the cattle. Teamwork is normal in big estancias. Dogs, horses, and men are a fearsomely efficient trio when they have to round up over 400 cattle spread out in a field in just a few minutes. The animals spend most of their time roaming the vast stretches of grasslands freely. However, a few times a year, they are rounded up in corrals, smaller spaces in which it's easier to check their health and give them treatments. What the gauchos from Estancias do together, for hundreds of animals, with almost industrial organization and methods, the independent gaucho must do alone and in a more empirical way for his herd of around 20 cows and calves. One day, I had the opportunity to settle here, and I took it as a challenge. I wanted to know if I could get by with my gaucho job. I make no benefits, but we don't go short on anything. I work three times more than before, but what is stimulating is that I do it for my family. Obviously, my income is far lower than what I earned at the Estancia. The rainy season should start soon, and we must think about planting hay to feed the animals. Because winter's coming, the cows will soon calf. We must be ready. I inherited this land from my family, and if we decided to settle here, to stay here, it's to look after this place as best we can. Today, I have a family, and as newlyweds, we have many expectations, many dreams. We have a beautiful field to do very many things, but since we start from scratch, sometimes our dreams slip away, like sand through our fingers. This is the life I prefer. Here it's another atmosphere, far from the noise, far from the pollution. 
We're free to live the life we want. I love my life and I would like it to be the same for her. We do not have much, but today, everything we have, we share it with you. We have hot water to make mate, an oven to bake bread, cows, if we want to eat cheese. Heating is by wood fire, and our electricity is the sunlight. At night, we have the full moon. Everything is very simple, natural, and we improvise. We have the willpower to pull through, so what's important is to want to. Then we'll see if we succeed, if we're lucky, because here it's all or nothing. We do all of this for her. Thank mm -hmm. you.